One second. Okay, you on. Oh, okay. Okay, Khan. Shalom, shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh. Bashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Waha Rachaf Wadash. Uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel uh, that's pushing this word in sincerity and in, and in truth. And uh, uh, me and the brother uh, Hanak here was, were just uh, conversing a little bit. Um, and, uh, you know, we decided to go into a topic and uh, name this video uh, No More Time for Shenanigans because uh, right now in 2018, the year of prophecy, uh, there uh, uh, are going to be, there's going to be an increase in the uh, uh, fulfillment of the word of the Lord, okay? Uh, uh, 20, you know, 2016 and 2017, we saw prophecies, you know, getting the, uh, uh, beginning to kick off, okay? The mark of the beast uh, coming, you know, uh, uh, to the forefront, okay? Uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the countries in the Middle East are, you know, continually uh, ramping up, okay? America's pissing off these other nations. And so that's only going to get more and more amplified as time increases, okay? And uh, if you claim uh, to be a man of the Lord or claim to be uh, somebody uh, who wants to be saved from this coming destruction or claim to be somebody who, who values their life, then you would take uh, the words that the men of the Lord are speaking seriously, you know? Like uh, Israel as a nation always had prophets that would speak to them, but nine times out of ten, Israel didn't hearken unto the voice of the prophets, which led to their destruction. Okay, and so it's 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 no more it's no more time to be playing around and lightly esteeming the words of the prophets. Okay, in the time now where the prophecies are coming to pass, and the uh, majority of the prophecies that are left are sheer <laughs> sheer destruction, man. You know, there's not going to be any more time for uh, uh, playing around, okay, lollygagging, okay? There's not going to be any more time uh, to, to BS around, you know? So uh, let's go ahead and get that uh, in Second Peter, Baba Kusha. Yep, I got you. Unless you had any opening words, brother? Yeah, I, let me, um, can, can I, I want to bring out, I want to bring out this scripture real quick, because you were saying like there's no more times. Pretty much no no more uh, time for shenanigans. Shenanigans, shenanigans mean like a trick or a game. Like you know, as a young kid, yeah. you, play you know. So just to get the proper understanding of that, we'll probably go into the definition a little bit more. It goes a little bit deeper, but that's pretty much the grasp of it. It's playing games, yeah. and we're and we are we are we, are, we, we have to be men. The Most High Yahweh Shemashai, He has called us to be men, okay, and not and to put off that old estate, to put off that young man, right? It's really in in in, in, in spirit. And fleshly, you're a man when you're 12 years old, but America teaches you that you're not a man until you've grown up in your 20s and your 30s. Nah, man, this is the time now. All right, so let me, uh, just real quick before we get that second Peter's. All right, I want to open up. I want to open up with this scripture right here. This is uh, Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Okay? Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashem al Shai, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. You know, you see that? So we, there's, there's a, there's a, the grace period is almost ended. Okay? To get this understanding, to get this word. Okay? And it's, and it's a clear line who's the, who, who are the men of the Lord. Okay, the men that are trying to get this word, okay, and the men that are just scoffers and scorners, okay, they believe that the that these prophecies are not coming to pass. And like the brother, the brother I now said, he said pretty much these prophecies, the last prophecies are a lot of these prophecies are nothing but destruction. All right, so it will really behoove you to, to, to get this word while you while you can. The, the door, the door is still open spiritually, okay. And the Lord said he will abundantly pardon. All the, all the all the things that you have done in, in the past, and we can, that's why we come with such a, 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 um, a humble heart because we know the things that we've done in the world when we didn't have this knowledge. So we're asking Yahweh Shemashah to, 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 to forgive our sins and to abundantly pardon our, 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 our iniquity, man. And now we're coming back to the Lord, uh, okay, as, uh, as spiritual men. 
You know, so I just wanted to bring out that scripture real quick, you know, about seeking the Lord while he may be found. It's going to come a point where the, God. It's going to come a point to where the, uh, you're not going to be able to find the Lord. All right, there's going to be a famine of the word. Okay. Right. All right. And I, and and during the time of that famine of the word, it's been going on, and you're not know you're not going to know what the hell to do if you're not paying attention, if you're not uh, uh, investing your time wisely, while these last these last few minutes of 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 uh, quietness. Of, of so-called peace, the calm before the storm. You know, when that storm comes, you and you're not prepared. You're not gonna, you're not gonna uh, be able to survive through it. You know. Yep. So yeah, let me. Uh, I'll get, I'll get that scripture real quick. You know, we kind of, you know, the spirit. Is, you know, we we just fall in the spirit right now. So this is Amos. Yeah. yeah, and go ahead, brother. You know, break it down. This is Amos, Amos eight and eleven. It says, "Behold, the days come," said the Lord, the Abashalon Shai that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of wa of, for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Right, man. I should say that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the most high, out of the mouth of the most high, rough repair for you. And so, uh, you know, there's going to come a time where there's actually going to be real uh, a famine of bread, okay, and water, okay, but more importantly, it's going to be a famine of uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, okay? Because if you don't have uh, any, any uh, bread or water prepared, all you have to do is, you know, uh, have faith in the Lord that he'll, provi that he'll provide and he'll provide, okay? But these people don't have that knowledge. They don't, the fear of the Lord, is, they don't have that, okay? So they're not going to know what to do on that day. They're not going to know what name to call upon, okay? They're not going to know where to go, what men to be around, what men to stay away from. They're just going to be... Regular uh, 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 people, you know, regular sheep just roaming around, getting destroyed and catching their judgment. Okay, because they didn't hearken unto the voice of the prophet while it was still, uh, uh, while the doors uh, of repentance were still open. Okay, and, and as, right, as of right now, okay, uh, January uh, 6, 2018, the doors of repentance are still open. Okay, you still got new brothers coming into the fold. Okay, you know, a uh, 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 potential. Uh, men of the Lord, you know, are, are learning the word as we speak, okay? But there's going to come a time here very shortly where Esau <clears throat> is not uh, going to allow the internet, YouTube, to be uh, openly accessible, okay? And there's also going to be uh, so much commotion going on in, you know, the day-to-day uh, -day life. You won't even have time to, uh, uh, to sit down and learn the scriptures, man, because it's going to be time to move. You know, that time is, is currently uh, 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 it's, it's, uh, going away quickly, okay? It's passing by quickly. The time is speeding up. 2017, the year of death, destruction, and diligence, it went like that, okay? It feels like just yesterday, it was, you know, it was 2017, the, the, you know, uh, uh, January 1st, 2017. Now it's January 6th, 2018. These years are feeling like months, okay? And so this time that we have, is very, very, very valuable, okay? Because the days are going to come, like the, like we just read in Amos chapter 8. The days are going to come that he's going to send a famine of the word, a famine of hearing the words of the Most High, okay? Which is going to result in an immediate uh, uh, effect of you not being able to know what the hell to do, you know? Yeah, because you're going to have uh, uh, a pastor like it. You have your 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 fake pastors. The, the the word is still going to be out there, but it's going to be a famine of this truth, man. You know, yeah. it's going to be a famine of this truth. That's what that's what that famine is going to be like amongst amongst that physical famine. All right, your ribs going to be touching your yeah. back. Are right? you going to be hungry? And then on top of that, everything that you hear from all these fake pastors and 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 and, uh, and, and teachers, it's going to be lies, man. They're going to tell you to worship the mark of the beast. They're going to tell you that everything's going to be all right when everything is not going to be all right. But but here we here we are, 2018, the, the, the year the year of prophecy. So you're going to start to see a lot of these prophecies kind of pass. You got you got another you got a a, a super blue moon on January the 31st, and that that, yep. that that and a super blue moon happens when there's two full moons in one month, and it's a lunar eclipse. So how much how, how about that, man? Yeah. How about how about that? A super blue moon. It's a lunar eclipse, and it's two full moons in, in one month. Okay, that, that, that's unprecedented, man. 
this, this doesn't happen. That's that's why that's why we're in that time to where the brother he, he, he named the, 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 the video beautifully. It's it's time to stop with all the shenanigans. Okay, I'm roughly paraphrasing. Okay. Them 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 games and tricks. All right. Because the Lord, the Lord's gonna come down with great wrath. The Lord, the Lord's gonna show, he's gonna show his hand. All right. And then you you Israelites, okay, two thirds of you Israelites, you're gonna get caught up out there, man. So that's why it's so prevalent that that the men of the Lord, you know, we stay diligent in pushing out this word because the scriptures say that he sent us to the, ch the children of Israel, whether they hear or whether they forbear. All right, so that blood is going to be off our hands. All right, it's going to be pretty much that washing, you know, wash your hands spiritually. And then we told, we told you, Israelites, man, we told you that Yahweh Bashem Al Shai is coming back. All right, and he and he and he said, Yahweh Shai said, he said, I, I come, I, I come not to send peace in the world, but but a sword, man. Okay, and fire and division. All right, so that, so that, so, so right now, this the, that that fire and that sword is being brought out through the, through the mouth of this prophet. But then it's going to come that physical fire. It's going to come that physical sword. Okay. Yeah. All right, so um, I got that second piece for you. Let me go right into it. Okay. I w I wanted to get a, a quick precept before we before we go into that. I know we're trying to get to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. What, what you want? John, um, this is a uh, second Ezra just backing up what you brought out in Amos chapter eight. Second Ezra chapter five verse one, it says, "Nevertheless, as concerning the token, behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith." Yeah, the 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 the, okay? uh, the way of truth shall be hidden, because the, the, that famine of the word is going to be the famine of the truth. Because the Lord, He's going to take His prophets from off the, the uh, off the four corners of the of, of the of the earth, all right, and He's going to tuck them away. And you're going to be searching. You're going to be, what was that name again? You say yeah, yeah, Yahweh was Yahweh. You're going you're going you're going to be dying to get that truth. You're going to be dying to try to find those videos, man. You scoffers and scorners. Yeah, yeah. But now, yeah. now, now, now it's 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 convenient to scoff. Really, really, if you if you have any type of spiritual mind, it's not convenient to scoff. It's convenient to come back to the, 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 the come is to come back to the Lord and repent for your wickedness, man. There's still time to repent, but, but we know because of the prophecies, prophecies that two thirds of our people are not going to repent. Okay, and that, and that's just according to the prophecies, man. You you can't get mad at us, okay? Because you, your lot we were talking about earlier. You know, like, damn, man, I don't understand these guys. Hey, hey, uh, hey, brother, hey, look, our lot was to prophesy, and their lot was to scoff. That's a heavy, that's a heavy lot, man, to have. All right, the yeah. Lord, the Lord going to destroy you, man. All right, then you're gonna come back in the kingdom. Right, the, the, the Daniel talks about um, that uh, some shall come to everlasting life, and some sh some shall come to everlasting content. All right, because you're gonna feel that content. You have your head down man, in the kingdom of heaven for 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 uh, for, for, a, for a while. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, go ahead. I yeah, there, there's there's a scripture that talks about how there's some uh, vessels that are created for honor, and and some and some. Uh, for dishonor, man. Yeah, the uh, okay. Romans chapter talks about that, and ultimately that yeah. that vessel of uh, dishonor is talking about Esau. But we know that right. uh, those of our people, they're going to get the same judgment as the so-called white man. That's why the scriptures say, "Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished." Because you, you Israelites, are propagating and holding up this kingdom, this queendom, shall I say? Okay, you, you, out of all nations on the planet Earth, you don't want the white, the so-called white man to go down. You, 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 you'll. Uh, if we said the Chinese going into slavery, okay, that's cool. The, the Japanese, the Arab, that's cool. The Africans, uh, that's cool. But you do not want your lover, the so-called white man, to go into slavery, man. All right, because you have that, you have that Stockholm syndrome. But but the, the, the time is going to come where you and the so-called white man is going to you're going to taste of that judgment, that the thermonuclear, the thermonuclear missiles, man. You get the same judgment as the wicked. Done, done. And I have one more verse here. Uh, we can we can go ahead and, and switch switch gears. It says, "But iniquity shall be increased above that which thou now seest, or that thou or that thou hast heard long ago." And what came to mind when I read that was when the Lord flooded the entire earth during the time of Noah. Okay, and Yahweh I said, "As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the in the uh, uh, the coming of the Son of Man." Rough paraphrasing. Okay, basically saying that the entire world is going to be given into wickedness. But this scripture here says, I'm going to read it again. 
It says, but iniquity shall be increased above that which thou now seest, which was during uh, Ezra, was during the time of uh, uh, Cyrus, okay? During the time of the Persians and the Medo-Persian Empire, okay? It says, above that which thou now uh, seest, or that thou hast heard long ago, meaning the previous uh, wickedness uh, uh, is, gonna, is going to um, uh, uh, be small compared to the wickedness of the end times, okay, of, of today, which it is, okay, because the so-called white man, the Edomites, they, they just now got into power, you know, when you look at the relative time scale of the world, the Edomites have been in, you know, uh, roughly paraphrasing, I mean, not roughly paraphrasing, but roughly, roughly around, I'd say about 2,500 years, okay, because you had uh, 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 Alexander the Greek took over the Persia, uh, Medo-Persian Empire, then you had the Grecian Empire, okay? And so that was the first time Esau was really up in there ruling the world, okay? And so the wickedness, the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked uh, 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 ever, since, ever since he got in power, man. And this is, this is Rome, which is the second, uh, really technically his third empire, okay? But it's, this, is his, this is his last stand. This is, his, this is his final chance to say, you know, I'm the wicked, to oppress the, uh, the saints of the Most High, okay? And so that's why you see our people being uh, 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 unleashing their inner demon, their inner two-thirds, okay? Which is why the men of the Lord have to tighten up. You see, because you know, you know, uh, you don't know if it's if it's uh, going to be your brother or another nation that betrays you, man. This these people <laughs> are untrustworthy, okay? Because they're not in the spirit. You see, they might uh, uh, claim to know the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Shai, Barakatha, you know, or they might just be a straight up a uh, 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 wicked demon, okay? But either way, you can't trust them, okay? Yeah, the scriptures say, "Trust not in every brother." Yep. There you go. For every for every brother will utterly supplant. Yep. Okay. And it's talking about you, you demons out there, man. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, man. Jake be jugging and, and stealing and, and committing adultery, man. You know. That's. I mean, the Most High has no pleasure in that. Okay. And then you try to bring those attributes into the truth. You know you're gonna get destroyed, man. Don't be surprised when you when, when your destruction comes. Okay. That's right. I got. I, I, on that, I got a quick precept. Um, this is uh, Matthew 24 and 12, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Okay, and that's the yeah. time. That's the time that we're coming in into because iniquity has abounded, right? The brothers talking about since um, Alexander, you know, his, his father Philip, the Macedonian, and, and Alexander he conquered the world, and then. Then, then you know you have that wicked line, you know Antiochus. Ever ever since the so-called white man has taken power, wickedness is wickedness has a uh, engulfed the whole planet Earth. But now they have persuaded. Well, that's the scripture I wanted. That's that's the scripture I was looking for. Uh, it it, it got to come to me. Um, it got to come to me. But now since wickedness has uh, engulfed the whole planet Earth, you have made even our people like like it unto you. Okay. Oh, that's the scripture. The righteous are more excellent than his neighbor, but the ways of the wicked seduce them. So that's why there's so much iniquity on both sides, from Esau and from you, from you, uh, you Negroes, you Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. And because the because the love because of the, let me read it again. It says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That's why you got all these scoffers and scorners. That's why you have all these non-believers. All right, because they have been fully indoctrinated by the so-called white man and his and his philosophy, okay, and his and his and his wisdom, okay. So so outside of that, there's nothing outside of the so-called white man's science or his doctrine. It, 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 it can't be possibly this this movement that's happening, this revolutionary movement that's happening, okay, just like in a time of Acts, okay, this revolutionary um, yep, a movement yep. that's happening, okay. Our people can't fathom that Yahweh Bashem Shai is making these things move. Okay. Yeah. All right. The Lord said, let me, let me, let me, well, as I said that, let me get uh, real quick a uh, Jeremiah in the 55th chapter again. Okay. Because our, our people, they, they, uh, they adhere to the so called, sorry, Jeremiah 55th chapter. It's uh, Isaiah. Isaiah 55? Yeah, Isaiah 55. Uh, let me see. 
You know what? No, you know what? You know what? Let, let, let's drop that. Let's drop that. But, uh, you know what? Look, I got it. I got it. I got it right here. So this is Isaiah 55 and 8. Uh, let me yeah, Let me bring it out. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my mm -hmm. Neither are your ways my ways, said Yah Basham Hashem. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not hither, the water of the earth and maketh it bring forth a bud that it may give seed to to the sower and and uh, bread to the eater. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the mm. thing where unto I sent it. You know, mm. want to prosper in all. Uh. Everything that Yahweh Shai is saying, okay, it's prospering. Okay, it's come. It's coming yep. to pass. And our people, they can't fathom that that this is this is not a movement of the so-called white man. So it can't be of God. Okay, and the Lord, the Lord is making all these things happen because your thoughts, see, your 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 feeble thoughts are not. It's not on the level of the Abashim Alshad. Okay, he's the one. He's the actually one that programs you. And our people, they don't understand that. They they think that they have free will. They think that these things, these prophecies, are not going to come to pass. Why? Because they trust. They trust in oppression. They trust in the so-called white man. Okay. Right. And then and their right. heart is fully set. Their heart is fully set to do evil, man. That's what you gotta understand. Yep. Two thirds of Israel heart is fully set to do evil. It's perverse. Okay, you can go into the book of Mac, first first Maccabees and tell you that they said there was men so forward, and that word forward means perverse, man. But they they went to the they went to the king at that time, which is Antiochus, to get a license to do after the custom of the heathen. Okay, w wicked men. Jeremiah five and twenty six. From, from the most high people are found wicked men. So we have wicked men within Man. us. That's right? spirit, bro. I was literally just looking at that. All right, hey, brother, bring it out. John, this is Jeremiah 5 and 26. It says, For among my people are found wicked men. They lie wait as he that set a snares. They set a trap. They catch men. Now, are they physically putting bear traps uh, outside your front door for you to step on and, and, and have your foot amputated or is this talking about spiritual snares? Okay. This is talking about, this is talking about situations uh, 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 to trip you up. Okay. And get you, and get you out of the spirit, get you out of the, make you fall out of the truth. Okay. Or it might be uh, uh, an hour of temptation where uh, 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 Satan is, is trying you. Okay. Or the most high is, is, is setting Satan up to, uh, 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 to try you, okay? But these these men are, are 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 purposely trying to trip up the spiritual man. It says, verse twenty seven, as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. You see, they 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 say one thing to you, they smile in your face. Matter of fact, that's in Sirach thirty seven. Uh, you can start at verse one, uh, uh, if if you uh, if you want to, brother. Yeah, I'll but, uh, it says. God, it says, it says, as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Yeah. Therefore, they are become great and waxing rich. And so who's, a, uh, who's an example of that? The so-called white man. Hey, uh, can I say something real quick? Because you said deceit, right? And I looked that word up, shenanigans. If I'm not mistaken, one of the definitions of shenanigans is deceit. Hmm. So that, that goes hand in hand with the lesson that we're, that we're uh, going into right now. Yeah. One of the actual definitions yeah, Shenanigan means deceit. John, yeah, if you if you get the definition, we can pull it up, you know, put it on the uh share share the screen and pull it up. That'd be edifying. Um right. Let me bring that out. It is so you know, it says for among my people are found wicked men. So we know that you know Esau is the Esau is the wicked, but it's talking about uh two thirds of our nation. Okay. It says there as a cage full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Okay, the persecutors of Yahweh Shai, their 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 uh their house is full of deceit. Okay, complete chaos and, 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 and filth. The establishment <clears throat> that these other uh uh you know Israelite groups are setting up, okay, are completely just going off, man. 
They're not teaching the name. They're not teaching, teaching the mark of the beast of the chip. Okay? All, sort, all sorts of false uh, philosophies and doctrines, which are, 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 are an abominable, abominable, abominable sacrifice, since a smoke in the nose of the Most High, these things are detestable to him. It says, therefore, they are become great and wax and rich. Okay? Yeah, because you had, uh, you had during the time of Acts certain sorcerers that made uh, extra money off of uh, uh, bewitching people. As a matter of fact, uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. I think, yeah. Okay, this is uh, 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 Acts 13 and, uh, and 8. It says, but, Eli- but Elimus, the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, withstood them, seeking to turn away the deputies from the faith. I think the brother cut off for a second, but uh, he should he should be back. Probably got a call or something, you know. Salakia, Salakia, brother was calling me. Yeah, yeah it's uh, good. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start back at verse nine, Acts thirteen and nine. It says, "Then Saul, who was also called Paul, fill of the Holy Spirit, set his eyes on him, and said, Oh full of all subtility and all mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, wilt thou not cease to pervert the right ways of, of Yahweh? It says, And now, behold, the hand of Yahweh is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness, and he went about seeking someone to lead him by the hand. That's, uh, 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 this, uh, this alignment is what? A man of our nation. Okay? There was another guy, if you read up two verses, Bar Jesus, okay, who says a, 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 a false prophet and, a, and was a Jew. No, no, that's and also a man guy. of our nation. Same guy. Oh, it's the same guy? Yeah, it's the same Okay, kind. Yeah, there, there, there you go. There you go, bro. You know, and so uh, uh, <laughs> that's beautiful, man, because that just goes in a, a perfect example of, of, of wicked men. He called him, let me, in verse 10, they call, he, he called him uh, uh, all subtility and mischief and a child of the devil. Ooh, he's shenanigans. Enemy of all... Shenanigans, all right. He's into, he's into all, the, all these shenanigans. Did you get that definition, bro? I got the definition. I'm going to give you two definitions. I got the definition in Edamon online. And I got the definition of Wiktionary online. So let me let me share my screen. And it's going to go right into it. Perfect what you just said. Okay, so you see this, the word shenanigan, right? So the word shenanigan, we come down here. Okay. You know, it goes into a different origin. I think Spanish, different German, you know. Let me, let me, let me zoom in. It means trick or deceit. See that? Trick or deceit. It means work, craft, fox. The scriptures talk about them foxes. But I, I like this definition. Mm-hmm. I like this definition over here better, a little better. There's a little bit more meat. So, let me see. Okay, mischievous play, especially mm. by children. See that? And you grown, you grown men are acting like children. Okay. Yep. It also said that the second definition, deceitful tricks, trickery, like uh, uh, the, the, the guy in Acts 13 chapter, okay? He was using deceitful tricks. He was using trickery, games. You see that? That's the shenan- shenanigans. So, 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 so pretty much it's time to stop all them games. It's time, it's time to stop all that BS as a child. Oh, you know what? If if may I may I get one scripture out? Come on up. Yeah, may I get one scripture? Um let me see. Let me see. Let me get let me let me let me see. So I think it's it's uh yeah. Let me get we talk about games. So first thing to go chapter. Hey, and I find it funny too, just as a side note, in Acts the thirteenth chapter, that that uh the sorcerer's name. You know, it was Bar Jesus. 
So, you know, in the Hebrew, that's what? Bar Yahawashai. Bar you know, so we had Yahawashai's name. Bar Yahawashai. Yeah. You know, so he so he said he's, he's son of the, he's son of, uh, uh, of the anointed one, you know, claiming to be. But you see, he was a sorcerer. <laughs> yeah. You know, he was leading the flock astray. So people are going to come in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and, and, and actually be uh, 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 wolves in sheep's clothing, man. Okay? And those are the guys who you have to look out for. You know? Yeah, Yahweh Shai. Those who say they are Jews and, and are not. Yeah. Matter of yeah. fact, we can get that. So lock. No, no, that's all good. Yeah, Yahweh Shai said that some um, many shall come in my name and, dis and shall deceive yep. yep. many. Right? The scriptures also talk about the Antichrist. The Antichrist will come. Yep. It's the Antichrist because it's against everything Yahweh Bashem Al Shad, but they're going to put on that 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 sheath clothing. You know, like the brother was just saying that, right? Ooh. You're gonna you're gonna betray like they're like they're the they're, they're Messiah. Like they're the, they're the second coming. Right. You know? Right. You gotta watch out for guys like this. A lot of guys come in the name of uh of Jesus and in Yahweh Shad, and they're false prophets. So let me get this uh this right. scripture real quick. Because we was talking about that defin definition of shenanigans right over here in wiktionary.com. I mean, and, and wiktionary is a really good source of uh, etym etymology of words. Uh, it says mischievous play, especially by children. Okay, so here's 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. In verse 11, this is Paul talking to uh, the, the, the church of Corinth. It says, when I was a child, I speak as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put off, I put away childish things. He put away them shenanigans, man. He put away them to see, because the scripture also say that childhood, child, childhood is vanity. All right? Because your whole mind, what you're thinking in, in childhood is, is how you're going to please yourself, how you feel good. Well, I want a cookie. I want to go outside. Well, I'm going to steal. I'm going to play games. I'm going to play trickery games. You're always playing trickery games. <laughs> okay? But Paul said, when I was a child, I speak as a child. I understood as a child. Okay, I did things as a child, man. But he said, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. I put away those games. Okay? So we, so we have to be, as, as Paul says, we have to put away, we have to put away those childish games. All right? And we have to be, and we have to be men. And the most high, he requires us to be men. All right? And being, uh, being a man is not being a... Uh, being a man, first and foremost, man, is follow the law, statutes, and commandments. That's the wisdom that you're going to get and receive. And then with that, you're just fully persuading your own mind. You're supposed to go out there and teach, man. Are you supposed to, or you're supposed to have some benefit to the body. I, I, how are you going to claim you're a believer, but then there's no benefit to the, 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 the body of Yahweh Shai is a full body. How are you going to be a believer, but you play no part in the body, man? Even if you're the fingernail, okay, fingernail plays a very huge part in the body, man. Have your fingernail ripped off and see how much pain you're going to go through. Okay, so you can't think of yourself, oh, I'm such a low guy. Now, you have to be somewhat beneficial, beneficial to the body. And by doing that, you have to put up all those childish games. The America teaches you what? To still be a big kid. You go, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a big kid. You got a lot of people right. that say, oh, I'm a child at heart. That's wickedness, right. man. You're supposed to grow up as a man. You're supposed to gird yourself up, gird up your loins, man. Okay, as a man. Not not take on not take on America Amer uh, uh, America's uh, doctrine. That's why I'm, I'm a big kid. I like to play child. Now nah, you're supposed to right. you're supposed to responsibilities, and you're supposed to take those responsibilities. You're supposed to take on those responsibilities. And one and the biggest responsibility is walking in this truth, man. Casting away, right. casting away all those all, all those old things that you did. Mortifying your members, all right, and fortifying and fortifying, strengthening in the spirit. All right, whether you gotta fast, you gotta pray, okay. You gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be hotter in the spirit. And I'm gonna say this to the spirit, man. I've been meditating on this. We're coming into the end. Brothers gonna have to start fasting more, fasting and praying. That's how we're gonna be strengthened in the spirit. Because Yahweh Shai said you have the, you have the men that come up. Yahweh Shai said, "Why do your disciples don't fast?" He said, "While the bridegroom is with, with them, do they need to fast? But once, once the, uh, the bridegroom leave, all right, my, my disciples are gonna have to fast, man. But we're coming into that time. Just a little side note, you know." Yeah. Done. Uh, did you have something up, or we can go into that? I know we've been we've been trying to go into that second Peter's for a long time. <laughs> yeah, God. for real. Um, shoot, I mean, basically, man, uh, staying in the spirit is going to require uh, is going to require a, a, a boost. We're going to we're going to need we're going to need 
extra extra faith. We're gonna need a uh, separation from from physical car, car things. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna need to put off the the lust of the flesh. Okay. And and our and our fleshly desires, which is really what talks about. Okay, twelve and one through two. You know, making your body a a a, a living sacrifice. Because that's what Yahweh Shah had to do. Well, Yahweh Shah fasted for forty days and forty nights. No food, no water. Okay, he was constantly in the spirit. Oftentimes, he rejected food. You know, he said, "I have meat, you know not of." Talking about what the spirit. You know, hmm. and so there's a there's a, a, a tools that we're those are tools that we're going to have to utilize uh, in these last days, especially uh, that the Most High gave us, man. Okay, because Esau can't fast and pray. He's a he's a gluttonous man, you know. He's a, <laughs> you know, he, he's a man of all of all carnality, so he doesn't have that that power. That's part of spiritual power right there. Yep. Fasting and prayer. Yep. The you know? the scriptures say that um, the wicked are strained from the womb; they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. All right. The the so called mm -hmm. also the scriptures say that who can make a, a crooked thing straight. All right, the the the, the, the so-called white man, he's mm -hmm. perverse in all his ways. He can't do, he can't do righteous. He can't fast. He can't pray, which proves that Cornelius was an Israelite, okay? Because he was fasting four days. He was fasting on his fourth day. That's when the angel came to him. Mm -hmm. how, how is the Most High gonna be dealing with an right. Edomite that has faith? The Most High, he gonna honor that right. fact. Get the get the fuck out of here, man. Cornelius was an Israelite. Right. That's, right. that's plain. That's plain. It's plain as day, man. Okay. Right. Who all the, who all the and nine? anybody who thinks any, any anybody anybody who who's not a hundred percent uh can't see through the spirit that that that, that is and that it, Cornelius was an Israelite is on still on a kindergarten level. They still haven't put off that old that old uh 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 flesh, man. You know, they're still in that old yeah. wine skin spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was good. That old wine. I gotta get old, that old wine skin. Spirit. Yeah, that's that's, that's exactly what it is, man. Them child and childish thoughts, okay. Not elevating, not elevating in the spirit, okay. Because you you appease right. the flesh, and ultimately the Most High sends the angel to blind your eyes, okay, to blind your ears, right, blind your heart, your understanding, all right. And furthermore, you you reject it, you reject the word, you reject the Lord, all right. You reject his prophets, you reject the Yahweh two thousand years ago, okay. You just fall into your lot of being a bug out, okay. So yeah, let me get that uh, Second Peter. Cause I mean I got a lot more scriptures that came into my mind, but I want to kind of stay in that in that realm of pretty much uh, it's time to it stop it's, it's time to stop playing them shenanigans, man. Time. So this is let me share my screen and then I'm gonna get the scripture. All right, so this is Second Peter's three and three. It says, holding out this scene, messing my computer. It's all good. It's all good. I was trying to zoom in. But you, you can see that? Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Okay, good. This is 2 Peter 3 and 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. You know, and you can, uh, you can break it down if you want, you know. And, John. And, and saying, don't, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers yeah, don't, don't, Oh, so like I wanted I want to get I want to go verse by verse because you know that's 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 meat all day. Uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. yeah. Let me go back up. Because yeah, verse three, my uncle Shaw. Yeah, this is us. Uh, scoffers. Yep, yep. The second Peter's three and three. Knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers. Walking after their own lust. Right. Walking after their own lust because they're not in the spirit. They're still carnal men. I'm sorry, carnal men. Okay? Natural men. Okay? And so we're going to get that word scoffers because those are basically uh, unbelievers. You see? And our nation is, our nation is infamous, man. We're infamous for, for not believing a, 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 a damn thing that the prophets had to say. Okay? And after we get that definition, uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, yeah, the definition of that word uh, scoffers, I want to get a precept. But let's go ahead and uh, get, that, get that word scoffers in the uh, blue letter. Okay, the word scoffer in the blue letter. All right, let me uh, 
Strong's G, 1703, in Pike Taste. In Pike Taste. In Pike Taste, in Greek, in Pike Taste. It means a mocker, a scoffer. You know? Uh, a, okay. false, okay. a false teacher. Yeah. Yeah, Indeed. a false teacher. <laughs> so, you, so you false prophets, man. You false teachers are, 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 are scoffers, man. Okay? Because you hear the real word of the Most High and you cover your ears. You know, you get the the true doctrine, to the, the the true understanding of the Lord preached to you, man, and it goes in one ear and out the other. Yeah. You know, but I want to get this scripture. I want to get this scripture that uh, that basically defines uh, the majority, two thirds of our nation. Uh, uh, it, it defines their uh, their point of view on the, on the true uh, 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 doctrine of the men of the Lord. Okay, this is Acts chapter seven and fifty one. It says, "Ye stiff necked and." uncircumcised in heart and ears ye do always resist the holy spirit as your fathers did so do ye okay and what does john uh 8 and 44 say so, uh yahushua was speaking to the uh, wicked pharisees and sadducees okay and ye are of your father the devil okay so uh basically their 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 father their daddy is satan okay because they're worshiping uh 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 any any uh, power or any any entity or any energy that uh, doesn't involve Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai, okay? It says, which of the prophets have your fathers not persecuted? You see? You see, we, uh, 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 we are known, Israel as a nation is known for persecuting uh, its own prophets, for condemning its own prophets. Case in point, Yahweh Shai, okay? They uh, uh, bear false witness. During the, uh, during his trial, he was blaspheming. Okay, this is blasphemy. You know what I'm saying? And he's telling you he's the son of the Most High. Salvation is through him. He's speaking the truth. But guess what? There is no light in uh, uh, in uh, in, in uh, the two thirds of our people. Okay, there's no understanding in two thirds of our people. So how can they understand uh, 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 things like? Uh, you know the things that Yahweh Shai said that are only interpret are only able to be interpreted by a spiritual man, only able to be accepted by a spiritual man. It says, "Which of the prof- which of the prophets have your fathers not persecuted? And they have slain them, which showed before the coming of the just one. Who was the just one? Yahweh Shai. Okay, so they're gonna that's that's why Yahweh Shai said, look, they're gonna they're gonna persecute you." They're going to uh, throw you in jail. You're going to have tribulation 10 days, okay? You're going to be uh, uh, catching all type of hell for my namesake, okay? For my namesake, speaking about Yahweh Shai. We're going to be persecuted for the name of Yahweh Shai. And there's no, there's no better thing uh, to be, uh, to, there's no better thing that I would rather do, man, than be persecuted for the name of Yahweh Shai. Because we know that at the end of the day, we have the greater, exceeding uh, great reward, Okay? That's what uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 4 and 17 talks about, okay? Let me keep reading in Acts chapter 7. It says, uh, And they have slain them which showed before the coming of the just one, of whom ye have now, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers. Okay, so this is Stephen, a man of the Lord, speaking to our people while he was being persecuted for the name of Yahweh Shai. Okay, our people are always going to have a problem with the name of Yahweh Shai until he comes back and, 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 and subdues the entire world and puts everybody in their, in their, uh, in their proper place. Okay? It says uh, in verse 53, Who have received the law by the dispos- disposition of angels and have not kept it? Okay? See, we received the law. The, uh, we, uh, we, the, uh, uh, the adoption and the, and, and, the, uh, and the law pertains to us. Okay, we are the children of the most high, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But guess what? We haven't kept that law, which is why we're in the position that we're in now. Plagued with demons, destitute, broke as hell, okay? No spirituality, constantly uh, uh, trying to, trying to uh, uh, get, get a foot up in this, in this uh, Edomite, so-called white man's kingdom, and constantly being cast down, okay? Seeing the exaltation of, of those who spiritually... Uh, are worth less than you, okay? It's vexing, but guess what? That's why uh, uh, that's the that's the recompense for our nation going off. You see, 
And so in last verse in 57, it says, when they heard these things, they were cut to the heart, and they gnashed on him with their teeth, which proves that they didn't want to hear the words of the Most High. Mm-hmm. You see? They didn't, want to, they, didn't want, they didn't want to conform and, and, uh, uh, to, the, to, uh, to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai and turn back unto, uh, uh, unto the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Yeah, kingdom, I, got two, I got two scriptures for you, Ak. You know, now that you just said that, Go if on, I can bring out, I can bring out this scripture and then maybe if it applies, bring out the other scripture. So this is John. Three and verse. I'll start at 18, 18. This is John three and eighteen. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. It says, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds God. were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that the deeds may be made manifest, and that they are wrought of are wrought in the Most High. You know, and it, it just pretty much goes with what you were saying. You're saying that they didn't want to hear these words. That's why they were cut to the heart, because these men were actually they, their 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 heart were wicked. So they don't want to come to the light. Why? Because their, their, their uh, wicked deeds will be uh, will be surfaced, okay? And all men is going to see their shame. So they, they're hiding, they're hiding in that darkness, but they have a covering of righteousness. But the word, the word is oh. powerful, and it's going to and it's going to cut you. That's why it cut these men, and that's why they they, they put stepping. What, what was that? Acts eight chapter up. Acts chapter seven. That's act, okay. I think that's Acts chapter seven with, with Stephen, right? When Stephen was cutting the uh, the wicked scribes. Yeah. That's what okay. I was reading. Yeah, yeah. So that, yeah, that was Acts chapter seven, and they actually uh, stoned Stephen, man. Already put him to death, yeah. just like they put a lot of the apostles to death, just like they put our Lord Yahushua to death, man. They had they had evil men come up and be uh, false accusers. All right, because why? They did not want to hear this word, but they were getting cut to the heart. There's pretty much this word was cutting them, saying, "Hey, look, man, you're wicked." And that's why a lot of these scoffers and scorners, they scoff and they mock and they make mockery of the truth. It's because they know that they're not. They know that they're wicked. These people know that they're wicked. They know they've done all type of nasty, thick, demonic acts. Okay, that's why the scriptures talk about a man having a clear conscience. Okay, coming to this truth. The most high has to have to give you, in order to come into this truth, you got to have a clear conscience, man. Okay? But if you don't have a clear conscience, you done, I mean, all type of six things. There's, there's no possible way you can be around, around the, men, the men of the Lord because the men of the Lord, those are the light. That's why the scriptures say, let your, your light shine. That's the that's the that's the light in the midst of uh in the midst of a dark, dark place, which is America, that low land, uh the, the valley of the low land, man. The valley of the dry bones, okay, the valley of death. And that's all that's here is darkness and death, man. And that's equating with yeah. darkness and death. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I have uh, that. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then let me bring out this scripture for you so you can break it down. It says, "Uh, this is Matthew five and ten. Blessed are they which are persecuted mm. for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom." Con. 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 Yeah, Blessed. That's, that's the spirit because that was a, that was a video. That was a scripture that I was thinking about. Okay, con. Did you read that one more time? So I. Yes, it's, it, this, this is uh, Matthew 5 and 10, and there's one, yeah, th- it goes down too, you know, a couple more verses. Okay. It says, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when all men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they, the prophets, which were before you. Right, which shows that the prophets are going to have a reward, okay? Even though they were persecuted and destroyed on this on this side, guess what, <clears throat> Guess what, man? The reason why they uh, suffered all those afflictions is because they had that sight. They had that vision, <clears throat> that foresight of what's going on in the future, which is going to be uh, exceedingly more uh, uh, profitable 
than anything that we could receive on this side, man. You really have, man. You really have to believe that this that this world is so wicked. You can't enjoy yourself here. And it, I mean, it's not hard. Like before, personally, me, I came into the truth. I, I came to the realization that, I mean, you know, there's there's definitely many pleasures that I can uh that I can get myself into. But at the end of the day, it's all vanity. Okay. And the reason why it's all vanity is because it's all in wickedness. You see. Because this world, the fashion of this world is going to pass away. That's why it says in verse uh, 11, well, shoot, starting back in verse 10, it says, they which, uh, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, because wickedness right now is ruling, but it's going to pass away. Righteous, a righteous kingdom is going to be established. Okay, so if we suffer a little while on this side and go through a, a tribulation and temptation, okay, the Most High has pleasure in the fact that we endured for righteousness sake, because we're not going, we're not, our vain, our works are not in vain, okay? We have to do that. We have to believe that our works are towards a, a, a greater cause, man, okay? Beyond what, whatever the hell Esau think he's doing his plans for the future, and, it, you know, he's holding his meetings, uh, G20 Summit, okay? Thinking he's going to overtake uh, uh, the world and continually rule over it forever. No, man, everything, everything that he's imagined is going to be in vain, but the, but those who hope for righteousness are going to receive the kingdom of heaven, okay? When we're getting persecuted, when, when, when men are reviling us, okay, when, they, when they're uh, bearing false witness of us, and, and we stand firm for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh we are blessed, man, by the heavenly Father himself, okay? Yahweh Shai told us that, man. So if we believe in the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh we should uh, uh, rest assured, okay, that we have, a, that we have a, 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 an advocate, man, for us, man, an intercessor for us, which is Yahweh Shai, okay? And when he comes back, the Most High is going to give him his kingdom, man. The Most High is going to give Yahweh Shai the, uh, the entire uh, world, man, and every, pretty much everything in the universe, okay? And those that believe and stand firmly in the name of Yahweh Shai are going to be joint heirs, okay? Co-recipients of that kingdom that's going to be established in righteousness, man. you got to believe that. If you, <laughs> hey, if you don't believe it, man, then you... Like the Apostle Gabar said, man, you don't belong here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know? Beautiful. I got one precept. This is Job 20 and 4. Knowest thou not of, knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? You know, that that's Esau, man. This is a very this is very short. Yeah. The time, the time that we have. Oh, and, and that's and that's the time. And that's beautiful. The time is short, man. Yep. Right? Hey, brother, what was what was the name of the right. video? What you want? The name the name of this vi the name of this video is no more time for shenanigans. No more time for shenanigans. So the time is short. You read it again. Right. Oh yeah, and I got another precept too to go with that. The time. Oh, I got. Yeah, let's let's do that. Lock you. Let me get this, and then I'm gonna, and then you got a precept. I'm gonna hit my other precept. The brother okay, kind. Yeah, I was reading. Slack yet? Re I was reading that. Uh, oh, so like, I, you, did you ask me if I had a precept? Yeah, you said, did you have any more precepts? I was going to bring this precept up, and then I had another precept that I wanted to bring up. Oh, okay. Uh, I just, could, could you, why are you still in Job? Could you get Job 20 and 7? Okay, it come on. So read about. This is Job 20 and 4. Knowest thou not of this of old, since man was placed on the earth? That the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite before a moment, though his excellency mount up to the, the heavens, and his head reach up into the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? Right, and this is Esau's faith, and all those that follow uh, 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 un under him, man. Okay? The word devil means deceiver, man. Okay? And guess what? Esau is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Isaiah, uh, the 14th chapter, you know? Uh, shoot, you got, um, as a matter of fact, uh, what's that scripture in uh, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 uh, that talks about um, uh, uh, deceiving or being deceived? Yeah, this is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and 13. It says, uh, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Now, this is talking about two-thirds of our nation, but also Esau, the so-called white man. Anybody who's coming in the, uh, the spirit of, of, of Satan, man, 
of the adversary is 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 uh is is an antichrist, you know, is an anti messiah, okay. And so Esau is deceiving, and the Most High is deceiving him. You see, verse fourteen it says, "But continue thou in the things that thou hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast heard them." And who are we? Uh, who who is uh, uh, whose words are we speaking? Whose words are we reading when we're reading the scripture? The words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? It says, And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Okay? And so us being uh, bathed and growing up in the spirit, we're becoming more and more mature, learning these scriptures, which are able to make us wise unto salvation so that we won't be uh, uh, deceived. Okay? By the, by the deceiver, <laughs> by the devil, okay? That's right, that's right. Yeah, so I got a, I know we've been trying to get, you know, we might end, we might end the lesson off on the second Peter, because. <laughs> yeah, kind because we, yeah, I was thinking we might have to do a part two, bro. And we might have to do a part two, I right, yeah, brother, you know, hey, man, you know how we do. Uh, yeah. This is, uh, so you, you got, you got somewhere to go, bro? How much more time you got? No, I got, we can go ahead and finish it off. Okay, kind. Of. So I got I got these two precepts that I want to go into about pretty much the time the time there's no time, you know, and then, and it goes it goes perfect with this lesson because we don't have any time. This is the, and the Lord about to come, Lord about to come as a thief in the night, man. You know, hey God. man, a lot, of, a lot of coming to my mind now. The spirit's hitting me. Uh, God, God, for real. This is this is a very very edifying topic. You know, this is a very to a topic. This is this is a uh, this is a, to a topic that's equivalent to the times that we're in. You know, we're not we're not going to talk about oh, David's mighty men, which, which the lessons do come out. But we're in a time of prophecy, man. Right. right we're in a time of grave, destru grave destruction, grave time. We're in a time of Jacob's trouble. All right, we're in a time that there's the time is short. Okay, so this is a uh, First Corinthians seven and twenty nine. But I say, but but this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both that they that have wise be as though they had none, yep. and they that weep as though they wept not, and they that rejoice as though they rejoice not, and they that buy mm -hmm. as though they that's not, and they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. Okay. So so pretty much, man. Oh, no, let me read. Let me read the last verse. But I will have you without careless. He that is unmarried care for the things that belong to the Lord. But he that uh, how he may please the Lord. But he that is married, but he that is married care for the things that are up. Let me read that again, Akira. But I would have you without carefulness. He that is unmarried careth for the things that belong to the Lord, how he may please the Lord. But he that is married care for the things that are of the world, how he may please his wife. All right. Um me yeah it's I think I, I think I just read it yeah 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 up yeah up here pretty much don't those who have wise being so they have none wise and, and right, they, right. Those that weep as though they wept not those that buy it those that buy not those that rejoice as though they rejoice not why is because the scripture say that the time is short we we, we, we literally have we have we're, we're we're down to the last milliseconds, okay, of this of this 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 uh this incoming of our Lord Yahweh Shai coming back, okay. You got the you got we just had a, a big super moon, okay, a big full cool super moon, okay, and then we had an earthquake over here in um in, in Berkeley where I'm at, all right. Then we had then 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 there's gonna be a a, a, a super blue moon which is a, which is an eclipse. And and a and a and, a, and a, a, a super moon within the same month, man. When is, when in the hell did this happen, man? The signs, the signs of the heaven. We and the script. That's why the scriptures say, Jeremiah the tenth chapter, be not dismayed at the signs in heaven as the heathen are, because the heathen are dismayed at them, and they're gonna wonder at them. We 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 take those we take those as signs from Yahweh Bashem Al Shai that is coming that he's coming back, man. And the scripture also say that a, a wicked a wicked and, and, and adulterous generation seeking for a sign. They want this big, spectacular, grand sign. The Lord, Lord he's gonna give you that, man. And he's and you and he's gonna destroy you. 
Is he going to bestow his, his his men? All right, that's been out there standing strong. That's not denying denying him. He going to bestow him with spiritual power. All right, all hell is going to break loose. We're going to be in one one league with the with the animals, with the field. Okay, well, all hell is breaking loose. Okay, okay, I got a, I got one more one more scripture out. You know, to lock you. No, it's not no, it's not bad. Here, brother. This is uh, Romans 13 and 12. It says, Romans 13 and 12, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. What, what is it talking about? The day, the, the end days is at hand. It's time, it's time to go right now, man. It's time to go full force right now. It's time to dive deeper into the spirit. Or the spirit of Yah Basham al Shah. It's time to cast off all those, all those fleshly deeds. All right, because that, because, 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 uh, those those things are not going to save you in this upcoming day, man. The time the time is far spent, man. The day is at hand. The day to come to serve the Lord with with, with vigor, with fervent heat, okay. Man, man. In, the, in the spirit. All right. This is uh. Let me go again. It says. Oh man, you know what? I got to start at eleven. It's lucky. This is uh Romans, okay. thirteen eleven. And that knowing the time, that now it is it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. All these signs of heaven are happening. You have a mass influx of brothers getting this not not only getting this knowledge, but the knowledge is the knowledge is increasing, man. These brothers, is, these young brothers, are coming up on a high level, like right now. Right, Daniel's told before. Um, let me just get it real quick. I don't want to butcher the scripture. Let me just get it real, real fast. This is Daniel's 12 and 4. It says, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and still the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. And knowledge is being increased on all sides. Okay? Primarily the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Of this book, of this book in this Bible, man, brothers come up on a high level, right? Why? Why? Because we don't, we don't have, we don't have time. Literally, all right. We we literally do not have time, man. Your perception of time is totally different from Yah Bashim Shai. Okay. Your perception of time is totally different. Yeah. All right, the Lord, He's literally right there. He's he, he literally, you know, the, you, you see the you see them the war movies where the they're, they're preparing for battle. The Lord's doing that up in heaven right now. He's gonna come back. He's gonna destroy the wicked. And you don't want to get caught up with the wicked. So let me go back into Romans. Romans uh, 13 and 11. And now knowing the time that is it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly in the day. Not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy, but put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Bash Yahweh Bashim al Shai, okay, Yahweh uh Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. So we're in a time though, you gotta cast off all those lusts. You gotta you gotta be you gotta uh actually grow in the spirit because we're we are in no, we're not coming in time, we are actually in the time. We're in, we're in. All right, no more, you know, but we're coming into the time. Now we're in the time right now. You know what I mean? We're, we're here. We're at the end. We're like all the all the, 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 the men of old, they wanted to know, he, he, Yahweh Shai, is this the time that you're going to restore the kingdom of Israel? And then he then he said, hey, man, it's not for you to know. Okay, but my father, but he gave us, he gave us a clear itinerary, okay, of what's going to happen, what's going to befall until we come into that great hour because it's all about that hour it's really all about the hour that jacob the jacob's trouble and then from there it's going to be the hour of destruction man but we're literally we're literally in that time where the lord he's, he's going to come to visit the earth he's going to do a grave destruction and the word grave means serious man okay all right brother did, you know did you have anything um yeah man very 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 uh you know um you know, we we know that the that the Lord Yahweh Shai is a is an austere man, you know, and uh, you know this this truth this ministry is very serious, man. 
Okay, this is this is the most important job on the earth. The prophets have the most uh, 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 a solemn, solitary, serious job on the planet. Okay, and uh, if you if you if you value your life or your so-called life, your this 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 wicked this wicked existence here in America or where you are, earth, this ruled by uh, Esau. If you value this life more than the life that's in your house, shy man, you don't you don't have any part in the kingdom of heaven. You know, like we have to really we have to really consider that your house shy is really coming back, bro. Like we say it all the time, but like, bro, we're not gonna have to worry about the things that we that we that we're worrying about right now. You know, or that you know that the flesh is to, which is beautiful. And so it's time to really, really, like you say, brother, you know, uh, fast and pray and just, you know, uh, 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 buckle down, man, you know, because things are about to get way, way, way more serious. You know, family members uh, are, are going to die of starvation, you know, uh, uh, the countries, man, are going to uh, just go and just start going to war. You know what I'm saying? Your your your, your daily grocery store is just going to become a... a, a a desolate, uh, well, shoot, this Walmart, you know, they, they're going to become concentration camps. Everything is going to be turned uh, 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 into captivity mode. You know, everything is going to be is going to be into a, a war, a war like a uh, uh, movie, you know, uh, uh, end of the war type, 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 type thing, man. Survivor mode. Say again, brother. Survivor mode. Yeah, survival. Exactly. Exactly. Survival mode, man. Survival mode. So we have to prepare our minds spiritually for that. Okay. Um, I mean, like I said, we got we got more scriptures below. Will and we'll do another another part to where we can get them all. Um, but that's that's basically all, all I had. Ock. All right, Kanye. Yeah, so look, um, yeah, we'll we'll just we'll just uh, we'll we'll end it off on there. I think that's a good good you know good point to end it off on there. And then, like I said, when we come back, we'll do a part two, Lord's will, soon, and we can go into that Second Peter's three because the Second Peter's three. I want to actually go through that whole chapter because that whole chapter is bad. It's a lot of meat in that chapter. And, and then from there, I mean, you know, there's a lot of precepts that can come off of that. So we'll be here for, we'll be here until the missiles come, you know? So, uh, so, you know, hey, hey, you know, the brother, you know, the brother, you know, he, uh, he inspired this lesson. It's a beautiful lesson, man. You know? So, you know, with that, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Waha, Waha, Kadash, you know, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. We want to uh, give double honor to our apostles. You know, our elders, a great millstone, who rule well, who taught us this truth. Okay. Peace and blessings to the Akim out there pushing this word and truth to sincerity. All right, the day is at hand and the night is far spent, man. We don't we have a short moment until our Lord Yahweh Shai comes back. You gotta fully believe that and be fully persuaded in your own mind. All right, and your work gotta be increased. All right, you this is the this is the this is we're in a time at the end, man, where you your work has to be increased, man. Okay, so with that we wanna we wanna say shalom, death to America. Death to Babylon, death to two thirds, death to Esau, and death to the nigger woman. Shalom. Shalom.